Cassie and I am back with part 15 of the pomegranates. So I have to apologise because it's been a really long time since I've shared a part of this and it shouldn't have been so long. I need to get back onto schedule with this because I love this series, I really really do. In fact it's one of my favourite things to video and I love the family so there'll be loads more pomegranate episodes to come up and I will try and get back onto a proper schedule of doing it. But anyway, so since last time, some stuff has happened. I'm going to find it difficult to explain. But from somewhere, in between the house and in between Pilar's work, Pilar is now finding a love interest in somebody else. And that absolutely puzzles me because I thought that her and Dylan were absolutely perfect together. I was really excited that they were going to move into a new house and stuff. And I'm just going to go with the storyline that Dylan knows something and that's why he feels like he needs to take things to the next level now because if Pilar is losing her interest in Dylan, maybe it's because Pilar wants more of a commitment and Dylan is not being very committing. So it just so happens that all the girls are upstairs in bed and I would actually really like Dylan to ask Pilar to move in with him, even though I know that's not an option, but Dylan now has his own beach house in the bluffs area so I hope that that will be pretty fun and I know that a lot of you wanted a change from this house anyway of course it doesn't mean that we're never going to see this house again in fact we'll probably be back here at some point in the future but I think for now it would be really nice just to have a change of scene and just move to Dylan's house so Dylan has a really nice fancy beach house and yeah I mean it was a work in progress I'm going to say that it's a new build and maybe now that it's all built now he's ready for Pilar to move in with him that could be something which could happen so if he was to go friendly and, okay, what could we do here to make it seem like he's asking her? He could have a deep conversation <laughs> about it. I think I'm just going to do it manually. Okay, I think I'm just going to move him in manually. But no, but first what I want to do is I want to have a family meal in the morning. So what time do the girls all wake up for school? They wake up in six hours. And I don't think any of them have started the homework. That always happens. Nobody starts the homework in this house. All right, so if Pilar goes into the kitchen and she starts cooking breakfast, I know this is ridiculous because it's like 3 a.m. But I really like the idea of them having a family breakfast together before they move into their new house. So they're all going to sit down and have pancakes and it's going to be a party size because a family size is four and a party size is eight. So... There's five, so there is just not enough family to go around here for pancakes, so we're gonna have to go for party size. But I'm really excited for it. I'm excited for them to start their new life together in the bluffs, and I think it's gonna be pretty interesting. I have to say that in the next few episodes, there's gonna be some really interesting stuff coming up, and some stuff which, from part one, is gonna come into it, and I don't know how everyone's gonna feel about that, but it's something that I'm really, really excited to share with you. So yeah, you'll see that. You'll probably see a create a sim in uh, somewhere along that as well. But Pilar is cooking. So I think Dylan is just walking around the house. He's just looking a little bit suspicious. He obviously knows that Pilar's been texting somebody because I would imagine that this is just like a love text thing because I can't imagine them having a really intimate relationship or anything i mean they hardly know each other i've never even seen him as far as i'm concerned he doesn't even exist because i haven't seen him so antonio polini i'm pretty sure it's just somebody that she's been texting and i think that dylan would feel upset about that but it could also mean that it's a good thing because it would push dylan to maybe taking things one step further and maybe he would ask pilar to be his girlfriend eventually that would be something that would be really interesting but this is definitely some oh no she's eating them without everyone clean up okay just <laughs> no we just need to get everyone down here it just it, this needs to work this seriously needs to work pilar you can't oh pilar never does what i wanted to do she's so independent okay so if we call it to a family meal and we get everybody downstairs and we call to a meal i don't think anybody needs that much sleep anyway okay dylan probably does but doesn't really matter. Gonna get everybody down the stairs because Pilar is going to be finishing those pancakes and I really don't want that. So everyone's gonna get up. I just feel like it's something that's really, really small, but I really want it to happen. So just to get them all downstairs, just one last time in the house all together. That is really important to me. So we're gonna do it. We've been here for 15 parts. That is a long time. This is the longest Let's Play I've ever done. In fact, the first one I ever did was 
one part. I think it was just one part. And it's not even up anymore. So this is really my first Let's Play. And wow, 15 parts is just crazy. So yeah, let's get them all down. She's going to have pancakes twice because who doesn't love them? So this is really cute. I wish it wasn't so early, but it does give them some time to sit down and chat. And I absolutely love that. Some time for screenshots as well. I love the walls up. I know that nobody likes the walls up, or at least not many people do. But I really do. I get told off for it all the time. Everyone's like, Hattie, put the walls down. I'm like, no, I love them up. Because you can see the portraits. When do you get to see this? You don't, do you? You never get to see this. Why aren't the other two in here? Why are they sat in there? That's ridiculous. They should be sat in here. So come and eat this. Come and sit there. And, oh, Dylan's gone back to bed. That is so cheeky. I told him, I said, Dylan, come downstairs. And he didn't do it. He never does what I ask. So we're gonna get them all downstairs, take some screenshots because this is so cute. And I just think, why is she waving? That is really odd. I just think for a last meal in the house, this is just the best way that we could end on this part. You know, in this home, there's been a lot of memories here. And it might be awkward between these two girls at the moment. That was really creepy what I did with Jane's head that and Dylan as well. Um, but at the moment, I just feel like the girls have got some tension between them. And I just think that maybe moving to a new area will solve that. I think that Jessica has got some problems of her own at the moment because she has got a little bit of a love thing going on with Tommy. And she does feel like, um, well, she really wants to get to know Tommy. She is obviously very, very attracted to him. And I think that she would like to be his girlfriend. And that's a massive step for Jessica because she's a non-committal. And I think that she might want to be Tommy's girlfriend eventually but we just got to find out but Tommy is actually Jane's boyfriend so that's where it gets really complicated and it originally started off that Jessica was just trying to wind Jane up or at least be indirectly nasty to her without Jane finding out and that made her feel better about losing a friend and that sort of calmed down her jealousy a little bit but I just think that at this point She's just in a really bad place. She is. She's just in a really bad place. She doesn't know what's going to go on. And I think that as it goes on and as she gets further into being friends with Tommy and maybe becoming closer with him, it's going to get worse and worse and worse for her. It's going to get to the point where she's going to have to admit to Jane what has been going on. Like they've been going for secret meetings and stuff. That is not good. She can't just do that and get away with it. She just can't. So I think now... I think because it's the morning and the girls have nearly got to school, it would make sense to go to Manage Worlds and now go and move house. So we will be moving into the house in just a second. Okay, we have just moved into the new house and we are here in the morning. Now it does look pretty ugly in the morning setting, so apologies for that. Hopefully by midday it will look a lot better, but if you want to see this build, it should be up as a speed build really, really soon, if not already, and yeah, we're going to see it. So going on to the inside, because I haven't got the speed build up yet, in fact, this video is going to come out first, as far as I'm aware. This is Scarlett's room in here, though. So Scarlett's bedroom is not their room, so get out of there. <laughs> this is not your bedroom, your bedroom is upstairs. This is Scarlett's room, and Pilar and Dylan's room is up there, so if they want to go to sleep... They're going to have to go up here. So the house is massively open plan. And I really like that about the house. But I tried to incorporate things that they already had in the house to begin with. So I think some of the things you might recognise, like the big plants, the lights and things like that. Scarlet Stoll's house is back just under there. And I wanted to do that because I wanted to make sure that it did still look like the pomegranate's house. So it's just a very open plan house. It's more modern, but I think that it really suits them and it suits Dylan, definitely. The garden is a little bit plain, so I might actually work on that at some point, but I think that the views are absolutely spectacular. So we can see absolutely everything from here. I don't know if we can see the Loch Ness Monster or whatever it's called, the sea monster. I've tried to look for it here and I haven't found it. I can only see it in the bluffs, but I just think it's so much fun moving to a different place and to explore Windenburg, I think it's absolutely perfect. 
And if there's anything you don't like about the house, then let me know because I can change things, of course, and I can re-upload it to the Sims 4 gallery. But going on to Jane and Jessica's room. So this is their room over here. So this is Jane's side, this is Jessica's side. I wanted all the walls to be completely white and that's because it's a brand new house and I wanted to make sure that nothing was really out of the ordinary for this home. And also I wouldn't imagine Dylan would be very happy with the girls painting the walls and putting graffiti on it. And I think that he would be just about fine with pictures on the walls. <laughs> so I just left them like that. So I think it's pretty accurate for a modern house and I really like it. So that's their room. And Pilar and Dylan's room is a little bit more open plan. So it's actually outside. I might change that though. I think I might. I think I might put some glass there and I might do that now just whilst um, we're doing this. And I'm only doing this now because if you do actually download the speed build and you want to know how I've done it, then at least you can just do it the way that I have. So gonna add a wall there. And the reason is because I think it's just gonna look really odd being outside. And I think that in the morning and night, it's not gonna light up properly. So yeah, gonna get rid of that. And what I am gonna do is I'm gonna put in some windows. So let's find some windows like that. That looks pretty good. And if I was gonna put a door, I could put a door there. So instead of them actually going out from um, the front area, so from that area, they are probably better off going from out the side here. So that solves the problem. I think that looks a lot better. And I think that looks good. So if you're curious, if you want to make that room closed off, then that is how I've done it. So hope that helps. Anyway, so this part is really just going to be getting used to the new house and just settling them in. Because in the next part after this, this is when everything is going to kick off. So, <laughs> bear with me. Welcoming wagon. How on earth has the welcoming wagon got all the way out here? This is ridiculous. This is the middle of nowhere and we've already got people visiting us. <laughs> How? Seriously, it's like my house, honestly. Just random people come out of nowhere and my house is honestly in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so this is one of the Team Bros mums, so Lucy Spears, and I'm pretty sure that Bella Goth will be on her way sometime in the near future. I would love these two to get a little bit closer in the house though, so might actually cancel the welcoming wagon and just have some time between these two. Okay, <laughs> guess you're not wanted here, guess you're not. So I think that I'd like to wake them up, and I think that's important. While the girls are out, they could actually bond together, and I think that that would be really sweet. So these two are going to have some time in the new house because I feel like that's important. I feel like that's the first thing that you want to do when you move into a new house. You don't want a welcoming wagon to come welcome you. You want to be in the house yourself and then you want neighbours to come round and see you. So probably too much. Profess undying love. I actually want Dylan to profess his undying love to Pilar because I don't think he's really done that yet. What on earth is that? Flirty mood. <laughs> Is that some sort of voodoo magic? I have no idea. But he's gonna do that. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. That was like, I don't know what that was. It was like a little instrument or something. So Pilar was feeling very, very flirty. And I'd actually like him to make a move because he hasn't in a while. And I think that with everything going on, he'll of course have some suspicions as to what Pilar's been up to. So it's very important that he does make a real effort with her and Maybe they should try for a baby. No, I think he actually needs to ask her a big question first, which is ask to be boyfriend. Discuss fear of commitment. Maybe he'd discuss it with her and just say, I am really, really afraid of committing, but I'm starting to change my mind. And that is the reason why I think he's, he's, just, he's just getting on with it. He is. He's becoming a good person. He looks genuinely excited. Oh, they're a thing <laughs> that happens so quickly. Yeah, so I think they're together. I think they are. I think they are boyfriend and girlfriend. Yes, they are. That's so cute. So they are lovers, girlfriend, boyfriend, soulmates, and just friends. That is a lot of titles. So, oh, that's absolutely wonderful. Promise to dedicate song. Yes, you need to do that. You need to dedicate a song to Pilar. I don't even know if he's even good at playing instruments. He probably is. He's good at a lot of things. Yeah, he's, wow, look at all these things he's got. That's incredible. Just look at how incredible Dylan is for a second. Can we just appreciate Dylan? He has all these skills and he is just fantastic at a lot of stuff. So yes, he can dedicate songs to Pilar. 
no problems. So that's so nice though, that they've just moved in together in the perfect house. They look like a perfect family to me anyway. And oh, I just think they're so cute. I don't know what they're doing now. He's gonna play some games and she's gonna watch some television. So that's quite nice. Does Pilar need to do anything? I think now that she's feeling very, very flirty, I'd actually like her to go and break things off with this Antonio. Could she? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how you would do that. Maybe she wouldn't. Maybe she wouldn't break things off with him. Maybe she'd just leave it to fizzle out after time and just not disturb it anymore. Because if she says anything to him, it's awkward and it could fall out and she doesn't really want him to say anything to anyone. So maybe it's just best to ignore him and just, yeah, let that romance fizzle out. So as that is going on, why can't Pilar do something work-based? So she's got to reach level six of her cooking skill. Let's get some skills done. So, okay, we've also got to pay some bills as always. So she could serve some lunch. Do we need a gardener? It would be really nice to have a gardener, wouldn't it? But I don't know, I have no idea. We have so much money. I didn't realize how much money we have. We have so much, we have enough for life, we really do. So she's just cooking in the kitchen and she's going to be cooking something for when the girls get back because I think that'll be enough time to cook something really, really nice for her family to get home. I also like the fact that whilst I haven't really been on, she has been trying a little bit to make an effort with Jessica. So I want Jessica to be more of a part of this family and get to know Pilar a little bit more. Get to know Dylan too. So the campus stew is ready and the girls are almost ready to get back. Now I did just find out that I didn't actually put a dining room in this house. <laughs> Whoops. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm actually going to build one with you. So. I know that there's a lot of building being done in this episode, or at least more than usual, but I'm gonna put an outdoor table. So I think that is so incredibly cute. And I think that to have them all out here would just look really nice. So I know these are wedding chairs. They're not actually that too far off of what I had, strangely, for my wedding. So to put them over here, we're just gonna get a really big table setting, like, like that, and hopefully, That'll mean that they can all come out, they can eat their stew all together upstairs. I would love in the next part, or maybe the next few parts, to have a house party, like a warming house party. Just let me know what you think with that. So the girls have just got back from school, but before Dylan has to go to work, he has decided to woohoo in bed with Pilar. And I think that that is really appropriate because they are both very, very flirty at the moment, but not only that, They've just moved into their new house together. So why not? I mean, why not? So I don't think that this meal is gonna go anywhere. I don't think that they'll probably be having a meal together. Maybe later. And in fact, maybe we can invite some guests around and get them all sat down there. So Dylan has got work now, unfortunately. So we've got to get him out of the house because his work starts in 30 minutes. Okay, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> why have they just walked in on them? Have they forgot where their room is? I think they forgot where their room is. Their room's over here. And okay, there's a bit of confusion going on here. Scarlett's not used to having a double bed downstairs because let's be fair, Scarlett's got a really good deal when it comes to beds. She really has, but this is her bed down here. So she's gonna claim that. Jessica's got to claim this one and Jane has got to claim this one. Now, I don't even think that they're that tired. So I think that it would be really, really nice if Jane went and invited some of her friends round. So who could she invite? She could invite her club round. She could start a club gathering, potentially, and she could get them round here. Yeah, let's start a club gathering, stay here. So the club members are going to be on their way and maybe some club members <laughs> from the Gothic Nightmares would come as well. But then again, they know it's always drama when they come round, it, seriously, it's just, it's just so much drama every single time. The Gothic Nightmares show up, there is just always drama. And I had a comment saying that I should have got rid of Kirsten and I'm feeling like I should have definitely done that. I think that Kirsten is going to be on her way out the club next and I just, I just think that's a good thing to do. I think that it would be nice maybe to have a new club member. Because if I remember correctly, I think that Kirsten was quite nasty to Jessica at the start of the pomegranates, but I can't really remember fully on the first episode as to what happened there. But the team is round at the moment. So we've got the girls round and they are in the house. They are absolutely loving it. It's just like their own clubhouse. It's really, really modern and it's right up Tasman's alley because Tasman loves this sort of stuff. So Jane's gonna come downstairs and she is going to greet Tasman because she's really got to make a good impression on Tasman. In fact, she wants to become best friends with Tasman. 
And it's a little bit of a sad story because Jessica wants to become best friends with Jane. Even though they're good friends, they are just not best friends. They're just not best friends yet. But I would really like those two to become best friends and I'd also like these two to become best friends. So hopefully they will. She's gonna come down, she's gonna make a massive effort with her and she's going to compliment her outfit. Now she also needs to say something to Amy Caballero because those two are not close enough. In fact, we've hardly ever seen Amy Caballero. I was starting to wonder if she even exists because we hardly see her. I haven't seen her in so long. I really, really haven't. And I don't know. I just, I wish that she'd make more of an effort. I wish that she'd actually turn up to these things. Why is that tree there? I have no idea. But it's just... It's just one of those things, isn't it? And Courtney's just by herself. I would like these two to maybe go out clubbing in the week or something, or maybe the three or the four of them. I don't really know. And that would be great. It would be really, really great. Tasman is a massive party animal though. I think that's her aspiration in life. She really wants to become um, like a party animal and throw the biggest parties. Oh, and Tasman, I forgot to say, Tasman actually lives in this house over here. So, in case you're wondering where Tasman lives, this is her home. So, hopefully we will visit that at some point. I'm pretty sure that we've visited it before. I think that there's a secret entrance from there to there, but I don't know. That would be really cute if there was, but I have no idea. And she really doesn't have far to travel. So, maybe being here will actually bring them a little bit closer together. I'm not really sure. We've just got to find out and see what happens with those two. But... What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this part here and I will see you all in part 16. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you all soon.